Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be using this topsy tail tool again. If you haven't seen my most previous video where I use this doing ponytails, I will link it in the description box. But today we are going to do a very simple, very easy updo using the topsy tail. So let's go ahead and get started. So you might hear some baby ASMR today. My three and a half month old is sitting on my lap. So I'm just taking a section on each side of my head, clipping it back. And now we're going to do a bun with the rest of the hair. So to do a bun, I'm just going to pull my hair through once, pull it through twice, and then on the third time, I'm not going to pull my hair all the way through, just slightly, and I'm going to leave some ends hanging out. Then with the ends that are hanging out, I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to kind of tease them a little bit, not too much because we don't want to damage our hair. Now we're going to take those ends, stretch them over the bun, and with the hair that does not cover the bun that's just kind of hanging below the bun, we're going to tie off with the clear elastic. And now we need to bobby pin all this. So I'm just going to push the bun up against my head and I'm going to take those ends. I'm going to start kind of pushing them up under the bun and wrapping them around the bun and then just bobby pinning as I go. So I bobby pin the bottom section and I'm just kind of twisting the rest of it around, tucking it underneath the bun and then bobby pinning all of it around as I go. So if your hair is short, this is gonna be super easy for you. you. You might not have too much to hide, but if your hair is really long, this might be a little bit challenging for you. Now I'm just inserting my topsy tail tool on the left side of my head, and then I'm taking the right section and I'm just pulling it through that topsy tail and then just pulling the ends. Now we're gonna take the ends that are hanging out and we're just going to wrap them around the bun and then just bobby pin. Um, this will all be hidden with the other section. So then we're taking our topsy tail tool, doing the same thing, just pulling the other section through. So I should have put the topsy tail tool closer to my head, um, like the other side. I, the placement should have been exact because it actually looks a little bit off, like it's not completely even, which really bothers me. Um, I did not want to redo this hairstyle because I thought it was still cute in the end, but anyways. So now I'm just taking that hair and I'm pulling it down to cover everything we just bobby pinned. And then I'm just kind of tugging on those sections that we pulled through the topsy tail. And I am going to insert some bobby pins just to make sure everything is really nice and secure. Because if you're wearing a hairstyle like this, it's probably for work, for weddings, something like that. And then with the, I found a strand of hair that was just kind of chilling. So I just wrapped it around a bobby pin and then stuck it up underneath the button. So this is what yours should end up looking like. I didn't have to prep my hair or anything beforehand. I just wore my hair straight and it ended up looking super cute. So that's another reason why I like this updo. But the topsy tail tool definitely comes in handy. So be sure to get one if you can. So that is the updo. It's taking everything in me to not pull out hair because I love pulling out hair and making it really messy. But I'm not going to do that. It's very elegant very posh. So I'm going to do the shape test and you can see besides my little postpartum hairs, my breakage coming out, everything is still nice and secure. You could definitely add a little hairspray. I don't want to do that because I'm not going to wear this all day. But yeah, that is the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will link my topsy tail tool. I will link the bobby pins, hair elastics, Everything will be in the description box. So don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.